Hello everyone, this is Harjit Gill from AH Brands. Uh, today we are going to talk about credit card processing. Uh, how to get good rate when you are about to change. Lots of time, lot of salesmen or lot of people are calling, hey, I can give you the uh, good rate on credit card processing. Uh, lots of people call us too. Uh, the question is, do you know that how much you are paying right now? Lots of people uh, call us, hey, give me a good rate. When I ask him or her how much you are paying now, they don't know. They tell me, you give me your rate. So when once I tell them, hey, I give you interchange plus this, and they don't know what's the interchange is. More, majority of retailers, they don't know how to read their current merchant statement. Maybe you are already have good rate. You don't need to change it. So I will go by one by one statement, uh, then you, you can learn how you can read your statement. Today we will talk about the first data. So I will show you on screen if you, are, if you have first data uh, merchant processing and you can read and you can learn how much you are paying right now. So if you like this video, uh, you can share to the uh, other people. It is about eight minute video. So please watch all the way uh, through. And if you like it, if, if you think you are not, you are paying high rate, you can call us and we can give you good rate on merchant processing. Uh, once again, uh, our phone number 209-890-8006. I don't want to speak too much. Uh, let's go to this statement. Today we are going to talk about first data. On next video we will talk about the uh, Heartland, Avalon and other one. Uh, let's lock on your screen uh, how your statement look like and you can see how much you are paying for it. You always want to see if you are paying the interchange pass through plus how much sales rep is going to charge you. So this is the way uh, interchange mean wholesale rate. How much he is going to charge you above the wholesale rate. So let's look this statement how much this guy is paying for it. Uh, it is about a uh, like I say 8 minute video. I am going to start it right now. We will be back after this video again. At the bottom of the first page, would have any notes or messages important to the merchant. This could include network fee changes, new industry rules and regulations, and potentially any upcoming merchant rate or fee changes. Page 2 includes some processing terminology for the merchant. And page 3 starts with a processing summary. This shows merchant's volume and number of transactions separated out by card brand. Below that is financing information. This will show the volume deposited into the merchant bank account and any fees that were pulled as well. Page 4 starts, in, starts out with month end funding information separated by card brand. Below that will show any third party processing the merchant may have. Typically, this would be uh, American Express ESA if it applied. That's followed by any chargeback information. And it can be important to look at this information to see if there is a common theme for chargebacks and potentially for any savings or best practices that the merchant can start on. The bottom half of page four starts the fees charge section. This will list the details of all the merchant's charges. This information continues on to page 5. At the bottom of page 5, it has the interchange charges section, which continues all the way on to the end of the statement. In the fees charge section, interchange is combined by card brand, but this information through here shows the card level details for all the cards that the merchant accepted. Finally, at the bottom of the statement, it has year-to-date sales. This information can be helpful for finding out what the merchant's annual volume may actually be. We can now return to the first page to begin analyzing the statement. 
first thing we'll want to do is start getting some basic information about the merchant's fees. This first page has the merchant's volume and fees charged, and we can use this to get the merchant's effective rate. If we take the 411431 and divide it by their total volume, we'll find that their effective rate is about 2.31%. We can now go on to page three. And we can use the summary information to find out what the merchant's average ticket is. If we take their total gross volume and divide it by the number of transactions, we'll find that their average ticket is 146.53. We can now continue on to page four to start looking at their actual fees. The first card brand we come to is MasterCard, and the first fee listed is their discount rate. This merchant is being charged 20 basis points. The next line is their dues and assessments. It's important to note that they do not have the rate listed here. So the best practice is to take the fee and divide it by their volume to find out what they're actually being charged. In this case, the merchant is being charged 12 basis points for dues and assessments, which is the pass-through rate for MasterCard. As we continue, we come across the transaction fee. This merchant has a five-cent transaction fee. Below that is the interchange. As I said earlier, in the fees charge section, they have interchange lumped into one line item. If we continue down into the interchange charges section, this is where they have all the details. It's always good to check a few common card types to see if the merchant is being charged passer or not. For MasterCard, a few common cards to check are Credit Merit 3, Debit Merit 3, and Regulated Debit. In the interchange charges section, they do separate credit and debit charges, so the first section we have is just credit. We can find Merit 3 right here, and we can see that they're being charged 1.58% and 10 cents, which is the pass-through rate. If we scroll down to the debit section, we have Merit 3 debit, which is being charged 1.05% and 15 cents, and regulated debit down here at the bottom of 5 basis points and 22 cents. If you continue to check the rest of the cards, you'll see that the merchant is being charged pass-through for all card types. You should also take the time to look at the cards the merchant is taking. You need to check to see if they have a higher than usual number of earth and standard transactions. If we go through, we can see that there are a few standard transactions listed. We can continue down into Visa to look at their acceptance as well, and we can continue to see that they have some earth and standard transactions. It would be a good idea to have a discussion with the merchant about their processing behaviors to make sure they are accepting cards properly and batching out properly as well. There is a large potential for savings on interchange here due to these downgraded transactions. We can now return to the MasterCard fee section and after interchange to the next line with NABU. Merchant is being charged 1.95 cents. Below that is the kilobyte fee, which is also known as the settlement fee, of 0.0035 cents. If we continue on to the statement, we come across the master or excuse me, the American Express fees. First one is the American Express discount rate of 70 base points. It is not uncommon for Amex to have different rates than Visa, Master, and Discover. So you should always check to make sure that they are the same, or if not, what they are. If we continue, we'll come across the American Express transaction fee, followed by Interchange, which is listed similarly to MasterCard, and then the American Express network fee, which is their version of dues and assessments. You can continue on the statement checking the Visa and Discover fees, which are listed similarly to what we just went over with MasterCard and American Express. We can see that all the network fees are being charged at pass-through. At the end of this 
general section, we have the total car fees, which would be the sum of all the network fees, the discount rate, and transaction fees. Finally, at the bottom, we would have any ancillary fees that the merchant is being charged. In this case, they're only getting a compliance fee. We'll have a grand total of all the charges, and this will match with their fees charged up here. This would conclude breaking down gravity or first data statement. I, I hope this video will help you to read first data statement. So if you are thinking you are paying a too much rates on your from your current processor, uh, you always uh, can call us 209-890-8006 or you can send us the email uh, info at uh, ahbrand.net or you can log in to our website uh, www.ahwholesale.com uh, just click on the merchant processing or contact us uh, that's all for today today if you like my video uh, please uh, share to the other people thank you and you have a nice day